This week, the students studied how God showed his mighty power to Paul and Silas and to Jehoshaphat, king of Judah. These stories are recorded for us in 2 Chronicles 20 and Acts 16. Our theme this week has been prayer and praise, two great weapons in the believer's arsenal. Today, our story is coming from 2 Chronicles. Because King Jehoshaphat sought the Lord and trusted him for help, the only weapons needed that day were prayer and praise. And all of Judah experienced an amazing rescue from their enemies. We should take note of how powerful these weapons of prayer and praise are. The scripture tells the story this way. When Jehoshaphat was king of Judah, he was told that three great armies were coming against him in battle. 
King Jehoshaphat was afraid and set his face to seek the Lord. And he proclaimed a fast throughout all Judah. So all of Judah assembled to seek help from the Lord. And Jehoshaphat stood before the assembly gathered in Jerusalem, in the house of the Lord, and prayed, O Lord God of our fathers, are you not God in heaven? You rule over all the kingdoms of the nations. In your hand are power and might, so that none is able to withstand you. For we are powerless against these that are coming against us. We do not know what to do, but our eyes are on you. creation and in his hands are power and might. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, my shield, and my salvation. He is the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. He is the King of kings and the Lord of lords. We praise the Lord who was, who is, and is to come, the Almighty, there is no other. Meanwhile, all of Judah, the men with their wives and their children, stood before the Lord, and the Spirit of the Lord came upon a prophet, Jehaziel. And Jehaziel said, Listen, all Judah, inhabitants of Jerusalem and King Jehoshaphat. Thus says the Lord, Do not be afraid and do not be dismayed at this great multitude, for the battle is not yours but God's. Go out and stand firm and see the salvation of the Lord on your behalf. 
Jehoshaphat bowed his head with his face to the ground, and all Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem bow before the Lord to pray and worship him. And then the people began to praise the Lord with a very loud voice saying, Praise the Lord, the God of Israel. Let his praises ring out. The next morning, and King Jehoshaphat appointed a choir to sing to the Lord and lead the way in praising God. early the next morning and King Jehoshaphat appointed a choir to sing to the Lord and lead the way in praising God. And Jehoshaphat reminded the people to have faith in the Lord their God and glorify the Lord for his steadfast love endures forever. 
When the Israelites began to sing and praise, the Lord set an ambush against their enemies so that they were confused. And the Lord caused the armies coming against the Israelites to destroy each other. We will glorify the King of Kings. We will glorify the Lamb. We will glorify the Lord of Lords. The Lord gave his people cause to rejoice over their enemies, and they joyfully went to the temple of the Lord to give him praise. The fear of God came upon all the other nations when they heard that the Lord had fought against the enemies of Israel, and all Israel bowed down and worshipped God. You stand and join us as we sing. bow down and we worship you lord we bow down and we worship you lord we bow down and we worship you lord lord of all lords you will be can be seated. All right. Well, this concludes our kids' presentation. And um, parents, if you would stand so your kids can see you, and they will come now and join you.